five minutes outside with Kale, and our topic today is Ohio State Hill Climb Championships. At Pioneer Hill Climb Club over in Waterford, Ohio. So we had an interesting weekend. Um, what would you like to start off talking about? What's the best part of the weekend for you? What do you enjoy the most? Riding bikes and playing with all my playing friends. Playing your friends. All right. Well, why don't we talk about your friends a little bit? And I know uh, your mom went up on the hill and took pictures of all your friends and some of the people that help us out when we race and help the girls out. You want to talk a little bit about each of their pictures and we can kind of go through those? Yep. Okay. Well, we'll start with the first picture here. This is Brian Curry, the 50cc national champion. Yep. He is the national number one on that 50, and uh, he rides really good. And I think he's... He's won every race he's been in so far this year, I believe. So uh, Brian Curry, a really good rider. Going to the next picture there. That's me on my 65. That's you on your national championship winning 65. Then the next photo. That's Brock Reif. He's the... Uh, <coughs> well, he's a past. I think he has three national yeah. titles and uh, was second in the nation this year. So a really good rider from Kentucky. And um, he's always exciting to watch. As you can see from that photo, he's a, a good jumper. Always makes it interesting because he's wide open. This is Chase Curry, yep. Ryan Curry's brother. Right, his older brother. He's a, a good 65, 85 rider. He rides in both your classes. You guys play a lot, ride bicycles, play in the creek. Uh, one of them's really good at catching crawdads and stuff. So. Yeah, that's Chase, and then Chase, the other, yep. and then Brian's good at catching frogs. Yep. So we always have a good time. You guys have a good time playing with them in the creeks and in the woods. All right. And that's then, Brandon Heger. Uh, he got <coughs> fourth in the nation. Yep. And the 65. I don't know what he got in the 85. On that bike specifically, he's uh, he's won top time each time he's rode it at Pioneer, which means he has the fastest overall youth ride in the 50, 65, 80 junior, which is the class you guys race in, and he's been faster than the 80 seniors. So he's uh, smoking fast on that 85, that's his Yamaha. And you can see in this picture, talk a little bit about this picture, what, what's going on there that uh, is making, helping him get those fast times? Well, he can clear the step up, which most kids can't. Yep. I think this past weekend, uh, he and Brock were the only two to clear it. Yeah. And uh, they had very fast times, but Brandon's was a little bit faster to give him the overall. He, his was a 7-1, and Brock's was a 7-2. Yep, so two really good rides by those guys. And Brandon's uh, been undefeated at Ohio, I think, on that bike, which is pretty cool. He's a really good rider, and he's from down in uh, Logan, West Virginia, or Lincoln, Lincoln County, in that area. All That's right. me on my 85. How'd that end up for you? I landed right in the face of the jump. Cased it a little bit, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't have enough motor. So you got uh, third on the day, and then you got second on that bike in the Ohio State Championship. Yep. I got third on it. And then this is Ryan Priest. He's helped me and the girls out and some of my friends, and he is a good rider. Yep, and what do we? what's our nickname for him? Flying Ryan Priest? Yeah. How come? Because he can, he uh, he's all over the place. Yep, he has some crazy rides. Ryan's always uh, going for broke. He's wide open no matter what, and he always gets sideways and gets thrown upside down and all over the place. He had some exciting rides. When Ryan rides, everybody's ready for something exciting to happen. This is Taylor Lowe. She's <coughs> in the women's class. Yep, she rides a 200 class, a 250 class, a women's class, and. Uh, I think she rides four, yeah, in 125, so she rides a lot of classes. Um, Taylor is a good role model for our girl. She helps out with Callie and gave her a great pep talk and got Callie over the hill on Sunday, so she got a time and got second place overall in a micro mini class. Uh, but Taylor is a great example of a good role model and a good uh, woman rider. And then this is Joe Lowe, Taylor's brother, and he helps Katie. Yep, he helps Katie, and he's a national champion. Uh, last year he was the... 250. 200 or 250 national champ, and this is him on his 125, um, and I believe he won that class that day, but as you can see, Joe's a really good rider, and their whole family races. That's uh, Joe and Taylor's dad, Paulo. Yep, Paulo. He, uh, he didn't ride for part of the year, and when he came back at Athens, what happened? He won. 
he won and got top time. He had the fastest overall time at Athens, so he kind of came out of retirement, and he came out in a big way, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yep, he threw down a heck of a ride. So he raced here on at the Ohio Championships at Pioneer as well. This is Dex. Yep, Charles Carver, another one of our good friends, and uh, he had top time on Sunday. Now that's his 250, I believe, and he had top time on his 450, so he had the fastest overall time on Sunday here at Pioneer. So we had a really good weekend. Uh, talk a little bit about what made your weekend exciting. Uh, my second ride on my 65. So you had a pretty wild ride. You want to talk about it a little bit? And I know we got the video for it, but you want to talk a little bit about it before we watch the video? I was all over the place like Ryan Priest. Yeah, you had a little bit of a uh, flying Ryan coming out in you. And uh, mm -hmm. what happened as soon as you took off? Because you, you get the takeoff and you get a little bit of a run and they have the lights down at the bottom. And when you break that laser beam, your time starts. And it your time runs until you get all the way up top until you break the next light. I came out sideways and was spinning <coughs> all over the place, but I kept on the gas, and then I came up over the first breaker, yep. did a wheelie, hit into the second one, my feet came off, and I was on a Superman, <laughs> so then I just kept on the gas, and by the time I got up the third breaker, I was back on. Yep, so back to normal, so you threw in a couple of freestyle moves, had some huckabucks in there, and uh, with a Superman thrown in, and that ride ended up, uh, you were a little bit... Uh, behind Brandon Hager during the first run and in the second run you ended up winning. So, yep. All right, let's cut to the video. So watching that video brings back, uh, I remember standing out at the bottom saying, holy cow, you're going to hit the lights, which is bad because they're very expensive. And I said, holy cow, you missed the lights, but now you're going over through the first uh, little jump there and the step up. And I said, you're going to go down because you're sideways. And I said, holy cow, you're riding a wheelie and you're Superman and off the back, so you're going to let go of the bike. And we held on to it uh, and got straightened out. What was going through your mind when all that happened? Keep the gas on. Keep the gas <laughs> Keep gas on no matter what. Yeah. Yep, that's about the same conversations I have with Ryan Priest. I tell him, let's ride smooth, you know, focus on where you want to go, and, and uh, no matter what I say to him, it ends up just wide open no matter what. So, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of flying Ryan coming through. <coughs> All right, well, you had a good weekend. Your overall thoughts on the weekend? Anything uh, that really stands out for you? It was probably nice to win the Ohio State Championship on Saturday yeah. night. Uh, Talk a little bit about that. It was a night race. We didn't get any pictures or video because it's dark, but um, talk a little bit about that. Well. The hill's different. That hill is the day hill, and then you had the night hill that you rode on. Yeah, the night hill has, it starts out like the day hill, but it doesn't have the landing. It's just yep. you jump, and then you go into the next breaker. Yep. And okay. you go over. It's just a three-breaker hill. And right. Once it's a little get, longer, though. Yeah, once taller. you get to the top, it evens out some, mm -hmm. and that's the easiest part of it. Yep, and then uh, you only had to ride your first ride. Your first ride was very fast, and that was enough to win, so you didn't have to ride a second time, which is kind of neat. Uh, you can, like uh, I did. I didn't <coughs> do it in Nationals, but... At Athens. Yep, okay. So your 65 bike, really fast, really strong bike, handles incredibly well. Um, you want to talk about it a little bit? Well, Uncle Rod made it for me. Yep, he built the motor, and uh, we had some pictures. We'll have to focus on that for one show, but uh, we went and got it out of the shed. There was Austin's old bike, and uh, built it up over a couple weeks. We got the parts and the bike, and I came back with the bicycle. <laughs> yep, and you brought some other stuff out of the shed to play with as well. All right, so an exciting weekend. Uh, one of your sisters got second in uh, the state championship, and the other one got fourth, and then they reversed it. And Callie got second on Sunday, and Katie got fourth or fifth on su uh, Sunday as well. So a good weekend for everybody. Uh, you also got some exciting news today. You got to re-sign your deal. You want to talk a little bit about that? It's for my AXO sponsor, okay. and you got to sign paperwork for yep. them to keep sponsoring you. Yep, so you'll keep riding with AXO gear, um, which is a manufacturer or maker of motocross apparel, gear, boat, boots, gloves. 
socks and so forth and um, you get to stay with them through 2014 so pretty exciting to get that today and uh, have you sign that deal so you'll be in AXO gear again which uh, we like very much what's your favorite I know you have a couple of sets of gear you got the blue black and orange I think it's my uh, new orange gear new orange the 2014 orange gear yep okay all right anybody you want to thank uh, Uncle Rod, Hot Rod's Racing, yep. uh, Mr. Skid's Racing, Swallowtail Soaps, Motomom Books, Hogwild Creations, AXO, Pirelli. Um, Better throw Roost in there. Yeah, Roost. Makes you some cool Roost graphics. Max. Yep. Alrighty. And then uh, Hogwild Creations, Dana, who paints all your bikes and helmets. All right. Well, good deal. And Pioneer uh, Hill Climb Club, if you're interested in. Uh, the sport, Pioneer Hill Climb Club, always does a great job, very well organized, caters to the younger riders. We have a good time up here every time we go, don't we? Yep. Les and the crew do a great job. All right, well, I'll let you finish up the show. Good show for the week. Thanks for watching this week, and we'll see you next time. Sponsored by A&M Digital Technologies. All right, now that in one go. As usual, this show sponsored and produced by A&M Digital Technologies. We'll catch up with you new next Tuesday for uh, some new and exciting adventures outside.